The Chief Magistrate Court sitting in Ilori, in the Kwara State Capital, has fixed another date to deliver ruling on the case involving Kwara State Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak and the two journalists of the National Pilot newspaper. The state governor's aide on new media, Olayinka Fofuluyi, through direct complaint, had accused the national newspaper, the national pilot newspaper, and its reporter Ahmed Ajikobi of defamation, and at least at last joined. At the last adjourned date, the medium asked the court to strike out the suit for lack of jurisdiction and proper filing of processes. The adjournment has further heightened anxiety within the governor's corridor and members of the fourth state of the realm who were already in anticipation of the court verdict. At the resumed hearing today, the court, which was presided over by Chief Magistrate Shade Lawal, apologized to the councils on both sides, saying that the ruling on the jurisdiction status and other applications moved are not ready. At the last adjourned date, having moved our application challenging the jurisdiction of the court, the court adjourned for today for ruling on our application. So that's why we are put here. But unfortunately, when we get to court, the court began to sit. We mentioned our case, the court informed us that our ruling, the purpose for which we are today, is not ready. So we have no option than to take another date. Uh, the subject of the matter mm. has to do with uh, the, the complainant alleged defamation. defamation of character against the two defendants, that is Mr. Jikobia, uh, National Pilot Newspaper. At the last adjourned date, we moved our preliminary objection, and the preliminary objection has like about three grants. The first grant that we raise is that the court does not have jurisdiction because the complainant in this case, you know, um, did not file this case with due process, with due process of law. That ordinarily, this case is a civil case. It is civil in nature, not criminal in nature. That it did not file the uh, direct criminal complaint by due process of law. Secondly, we raise the issue of local standing. Then thirdly, we also challenge the jurisdiction of the court on the fact that this court does not have jurisdiction over cyber crime offenses. The court with the parties involved in the case, however, agreed to come on the 13th of May for the ruling. Meanwhile, through the direct complaint, the Kwara State Governor's aid on new media, Olayin Kafafuloye, had alleged offenses of criminal conspiracy, inciting public disturbance and cyber stalking, contrary to the provisions of Section 97, 114, 393 and 392 of the Penal Code Law Act 2015 against the medium and its reporter. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.